Hey guys, Dexter here from uh, Dexter's Workshop. Uh, as you might see on uh, Facebook, I've just bought a solder pot because I wanted to to try a little bit with the wave soldering. Well, uh, kind of the easy approach of the wave soldering. So I've bought a solder pot uh, for about uh, 15 euros from eBay. Uh, it's a 5 centimeter diameter uh, pot and uh, right now it's preheating uh, as far as I can see a big minus was again the cord uh, the power cord that, that came with it because it was a one I couldn't actually use it uh, because it was a different standard and two uh, was a flimsy little piece of actual shit so I would recommend you I would ha highly recommend you to actually change the, the power cord uh, until now nothing uh, uh, turned to blue or uh, went up in smoke so everything it's good so we are back uh, and this is the solar pot that uh, it's preheating here it has a one on off button and uh, a little potentiometer that will set the uh, temperature uh, approximately between 200 and 450 degrees Celsius. I uh, just bought, you've seen it today on, uh, on Facebook, I just bought uh, two actual thermometer, uh, thermometer modules with the K-type uh, thermocouples. Very handy and uh, for the price that I paid for them was like almost free uh, around seven dollar uh, fourteen dollars a piece or uh, I don't know something around here anyway so right now I'm going to to measure the the actual temperature of the of the pot let's see what we have here uh, some equilibrium must be achieved so right now it's uh, 140 degrees uh, a little bit under uh, <laughs> 200 that was specified but uh, it's still hitting so it's going up the temperature is rising actually and I'm gonna show you what kind of solar bar I'm going to use it's actually this one it's uh it's called here in Romania it's called LP 60 is actual 6040 uh, solar bar um, with uh, no flux. It's it's quite important to use no flux bars because uh, it, you will have if you are using uh, flux solder, uh, you you will actually have to uh, to let the flux burn in, and uh, you will have a lot of smoke and uh, a lot of uh, uh, toxic uh, toxic gases. I do think, uh, but this one is quite safe because there is no flux in it. And also, uh, there is uh, um, the, the the lead is uh, actually starting to oxidize around 600 degrees Celsius. So uh, it's quite uh, it's quite safe to to use it even indoor. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in uh, smaller pieces and I'm going to put it uh, down to melt. So we're back. Um, I actually use the sizzle to. To cut the, the pieces, the big bar of solder, and uh, I, I ha it was quite a challenge to actually uh, cut it in smaller pieces. Of course, I could use a bandsaw or something like this, but uh, I thought it would be much faster with the actual hammer and, uh, and the sizzle. So we are actually back and uh, the pot is melted as you can see uh, there there is some slug on uh, on the surface but that it's quite normal I do have some pre-cutted uh, piece of wire uh, I use them a lot to connect potentiometers and stuff like this in uh, guitar arms and 
Whoops. Oh. I'm going to twist it a little bit. Okay. And we are actually going to use some flux. <coughs> going to use some liquid flux like this in which I'm going to to dip the wire and then solder it it's perfect it's excellent actually it's more than I've expected it very nice it's a perfect soldering and actually it's quite fast because you can you can have them already deep in uh, dipped in uh, in flux and you'll have just to to dip them in uh, just just a short a short move will actually will give you a perfect result so I'm going to be back with an actual uh, PCB with some parts planting on it randomly and see how it performs it's going to be a small one uh, so it can actually uh, go inside the the pot be right back so we're back and uh, I fitted a little PCB with some random parts that I would like to solder and uh, I'm going to to use a little bit of flux on the back of the board just to be sure so I'm going to, to add some flux here and we are going to see the results because I have to tell you that I'm I'm also curious as hell on how it's going to turn. So I'm going to dip this on the surface of the of the soldering pot just a second to to actually clear the slug a little bit more. Just to take it out. Okay, so we got the clean surface and we're going to dip it in. And we're going to take it out again. I'll have to, to actually check the the surface. I think uh, uh, just a second because I'm sure that was something that. Yeah, this this part of the of the board uh, actually didn't uh, didn't touch the uh, didn't touch the surface. So I'm going to to add more flux here, and I'm going to put it back and see how it goes. Man. <laughs> I really have to tell you that I'm impressed. It's it's a perfect soldering technique. I, I have to to actually to to do some more tests because it's for the first time that I'm I'm using this kind of technique, but uh, it's no solder bridges. Uh, all the, the the actual leads are perfectly soldered. Uh, no actual junk on the on the PCB. Yoohoo! I have to say I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Oh man, it's excellent! And if you actually you can you can plant all the parts and all the wires, just hold it, pass it through through the through the solder, and that's it. The the whole shebang. No more point-to-point, -point, uh, uh, no more, no more point-to-point point -point soldering. If you have to do 
10, 20 of these, then this will, will be an actual very good technique to, to, to finish the, the solar process in one step. It's, it's excellent. Excellent. I will do some also some some high res pictures to to actually see the the results after I'm going to to clean it a little bit. So, yeah. I think I think that that's quite what I was looking for. Uh, so I will get back to you in a couple of days with some uh, with some uh, news, if there are any. But uh, I have to say, this is a go-go for me. Actually, it's excellent. I I couldn't hope for uh, for anything more, but uh, this excellent. Thank you guys for. Uh, Watching this, this is uh, Dexter from Dexter's Workshop, so I'm going to uh, close the whole shebang. And uh, if you actually found it interesting, please subscribe to my channel. There will be some uh, other interesting videos on that channel. Thank you a lot, guys. Bye-bye for now.